my name is Sid. I'm the regional VP and general manager for Data Echo Middle East. When I say Middle East, Meta, Middle East, Turkey, and Africa. I've been with Data Echo for the last five years and very excited to be here at JITEX. So I think uh, there's a lot of buzz around Gen AI, there's no doubt about that. And I think uh, Data Echo's position in the Gen AI space has been pretty unique. So last year at JITEX, we had actually announced the LLM Mesh. LLM Mesh is the backbone for Gen AI applications for the organization. What we really do well is we address those real challenges on the ground that the customer is actually facing. So what are these challenges? So let me begin with the first challenge. There's too much choice out there. So every day, uh, the AI space is moving so fast with Gen AI, more and more algorithms are coming out. And when a customer has a particular business uh, problem in mind, uh, they try to solve that problem using a particular Gen AI API service. What happens with that uh, is that once you start creating that application, uh, in the development phase, the application is extremely hardwired, which means that you start with something and then you're stuck. This is where you need the power of choice, where you have the ability to be a little more agile. And within the development space, once you're developing the Gen AI applications, you should have the ability to actually switch because for all you know, there might be another algorithm out there that's a lot more effective, a lot more efficient, and a lot, lot less uh, you know, costlier as well. Great, great question there. Uh, as far as the low-hanging fruits are concerned, again, with conversations that at least we are having here in the region uh, with customers here in the Middle East, I think few low-hanging fruits are there. Number one is marketing. So a lot of our customers and prospects are looking at uh, automation, a lot of marketing tasks. So when it comes to content writing, when it comes to product recommendations, uh, when it comes to social media management, I think that's one low-hanging fruit, a very relevant use case, and that's horizontal that every organization can actually embark on. The second use case, which is most common that I see, uh, you know, dealing with customers here in the region is around the customer service. Where a lot of these chat box, which were, you know, pre-scripted back in the day, are now infused with Gen AI capabilities. What that does is that, you know, there's an element of personalization. The chat box now understand the context as well, very well. And that really enhances the customer retention and customer experience overall. Great question. So, it's actually my favorite question. So, we started Data Echo about five years back. And a very short span of time, we've really expanded in the market. Our key, you know, focus areas, uh, you know, key geographies that we focus on, of course, include UAE, Saudi Arabia and Qatar in a big way. But we are expanding very fast in the region with investments happening both on the employee side of the story, we're actually hiring more people. And at the same time, our customer base is cutting across all industries, be it public sector clients or private sectors, there's huge adoption. One thing that I take a lot of pride in is that we build a very robust partner ecosystem as well. But we work with a lot of partners from large consulting companies to boutique partners. A huge focus remains on making our customers successful, ensuring that you know when the adoption is there, they start scaling AI and start reaping the benefits that we promise when we make the sale in the first place. So we've seen a lot of good customer satisfaction and very, very high customer retention rates in the region.